A lot of sad news coming out of the cruise world over the weekend. Thanks for watching today. I'm Jeff, and before I get into these stories, I'd like to explain something. When I put together stories of a negative nature like these, I usually don't identify the people by name. I do this out of respect for them, their family, and friends. If you really have a deep need to know their names, I'm sure a quick internet search will take care of that, but rarely will I mention any names in my stories. Our first story is truly a sad one. Back in May, we reported the story of a passenger who jumped over the side of the world's largest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas. He was recovered by the staff of the ship, but he did not survive. Information has just been released that identified him as a retired lieutenant colonel who had served in the military for 30 years. He was suffering with PTSD and had just had a fight with his wife when he made his way to deck number five and entered a secured area and then jumped off the ship. I know people with PTSD and it's a horrible thing. My condolences go out to the family and friends of this man and I just want to take a moment to say that if you or someone you know has PTSD and going through a struggle at this time, there are several helplines that you can call or websites you can visit. There's no shame in asking for help. This also pertains to those who aren't in the military. If you feel that you may need help, please do yourself and your loved ones a favor and take steps to get it. Five people were struck by lightning last Wednesday in Phillipsburg, St. Martin. We know that at least some of them were cruise ship passengers, but at this time we don't know how many of the five were cruisers or which ships they were on. The Carnival Magic, Carnival Vista and Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas were all in port that day. The lightning strike happened at the Phillipsburg Boardwalk, which is a popular shopping, dining, and beach area. Three of the injured people were in the water and two were on the beach holding an umbrella. Three were taken to the hospital while the other two were treated on the scene and released. This is just another reminder to always be aware of your surroundings when you're on a cruise. I've mentioned this before that it's easy to fall into a false sense of security when you're on a cruise and think that you're protected by some sort of magical vacation safety bubble, but that's not the case. Accidents can happen, crime can happen, and severe weather can happen. So enjoy your cruise, but keep your head on a swivel. Hey, please consider giving this video a like to help get it recommended to others and consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. I've got a lot of fun and informative videos on cruising and sightseeing and I'd love to share them with you. Thanks for watching today. I'm Jeff. I hope to see you on a future cruise.